Hey, what's up, guys? It's your homeboy, Cowboy Crunk, coming to you from Kabul, Afghanistan. We're doing this again. We're trying to get the word out, get the message out. Please subscribe to the channel. The more you subscribe, the more friends we have here, the more fans we have here, the more videos I can do. And when we do the live streams, it will get crunk up in here. I'm telling you, uh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy this more and more every day. If you guys watch some of my first videos, I, I probably should delete them. But they do got some good information. It's just I'm really starting to have fun and get comfortable doing it. I've met some really good guys already on here. Uh, so I want to move forward, get this thing started. Like I said, like and subscribe. And if you guys have some other cowboy fans out there, if you are one of the guys that's a YouTuber and has a, you know a, a small fan base, uh, let me know. I'll push your channel, and, and you guys push mine. Again, it's uh, Cowboy Crunk. Like and subscribe, and let your friends know. Uh, first of all, uh, gonna move forward. First thing we got is my new sponsor, Kiwi Shoe Cream. Kiwi Shoe Cream will make your dreams come true. Kiwi Shoe Cream is your football dream. You put a little of this under your eyes before the game starts, guys. I'm telling you right now, you will be you'll be in beast mode, complete beast mode during the game. Uh, now, now I got I to gotta explain this now. Eagles fans, Redskin fans, Giants fans, you, you might, you might want to be, you know, go a little light, make it maybe carry it a little low, because when you start crying, if that shit gets in your eyes, brother, I'm telling you, uh, I, I, it happened to me earlier today, just I actually put it in my eye. There's no reason for me to cry, because cause we're straight. But anyways, by the way, again, Kiwi Shoe Cream, it'll make your football dream. It will get you hyped for the game, get you pumped up. You'll be in Sean Lee mode. All you got to do is put a little bit under the eyes there. But like, again, uh, this is a, a, a child protection warning. Uh, the uh, children under 18 and Cowboy fans, excuse me, not Cowboy fans, Philadelphia fans, Washington fans, and Giants fans, Relax. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna move forward. Uh, we're moving into now the situation that happened with, uh, you know, a couple guys have mentioned it. Uh, I, I as soon as I got the message from uh, Earl Thomas on my Instagram, the whole reason I started my Instagram was to send him a message. And like I said in my video earlier today, I know there's a million people following the guy, uh, and I know. He gets a million messages a day. I'm probably the only one he pays attention to. Just joking. I, I think it just was something he thought was funny. But what I did was I started my Instagram to send Earl Thomas a message. And I'm sure he hasn't read it. I've sent him like eight private messages and, and got nothing back. But what did happen is I sent Kevon Frazier a message uh, telling him basically uh, what I said was, and, and I'll show you guys what I have here. As a matter of fact, let me switch over here real quick. I have it on the phone, uh, actually on the computer here. Yeah, here we go. This was the message, and I don't know if you guys can see it. I will have to, there's the picture that it was posted on. I'll blow this up and slide it over, see if you guys can see that. But Cowboy Crunk, uh, this is the second message I sent him. Uh, there was a message prior to this, which is what he actually responded to. The message I sent prior was, <clears throat> hey man, keep laying down the law at safety. Uh, I hope I hope you have a good off season and uh, can't wait to see Earl Thomas lined up next to you. And that was when I got this message, the same message. And I'm not good at doing this on my computer. I apologize. I got this same message sent back to me from Earl Thomas. So the only way that could have got to me from Earl Thomas is if. Kayvon Frazier sent it to him, like, sent it to him as a joke, and when it came back to me, it had a, a like, a, uh, a uh, like post stamped on it and was sent back to me, and that was on my Earl Thomas private messages, so that was the only thing I've ever received on there from him, that's the only thing I have on there, so unless it was a mistake, but it was sent to him from Kayvon Frazier, and it was sent back to me, and, uh, like I said, that was on my Earl Thomas uh, private message feed. So we'll see. I think he's hoping and wishing and praying. And I, I, my only thing is, guys, if you're going to message him, if you're going to just we need to bombard him with, hey, brother, hold out. 
hey, you know, I see a lot of messages on there and I'm following him as well. And I do want to go over some of those videos with you guys. Uh, he has some videos on his live stream that are just off the chain, bro. And on his Instagram, excuse me. Uh, and I'm going to go to those now. Let me go following. Let me show you guys where I'm at. Uh, see, I don't have very many people on here. I just started this and I'm not really good at using it. So I'm really amazed. Uh, where's the ones that I'm following? Oh, that's who he's following. I'm sorry, guys. I need to go. Like I said, see, I I'm not good at doing this on the computer. Here we go. go that's what we do. Touch here. That's me. And it's not activating because I've got my phone there touching. Uh, boom. My things. Okay. How do I go to my page on here? I'm not good at doing this with my uh, with my phone, guys. So let me see here. Okay. I'm trying to show you guys. Following. Okay. It does that. Cancel. How does this work? I'm really horrible at, at this stuff, guys. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Uh, who is this? Okay, here we go. Now we're good. Uh, Earl Thomas Page. Sorry, guys. And now my computer is acting crazy. Okay, here's the Earl Thomas feed. Now we're good. I want to show you guys some of the videos from Earl Thomas's uh, Instagram. That one is a good one. But the one I'm interested in, I'll show you two of them, guys. This guy is, is insane awesome, bro. Uh, here's one. Let me see. Here, here's, a, here's a really good one. I'll show you guys here. Check this out. You guys can see this. There's Earl Thomas. He's here in the secondary. He comes across. That's the wide receiver that plays running back for Green Bay. Look at that hit, guys. That, that's what we needed. And, and this is what we needed when we played Green Bay. In those games that uh, where Aaron Rodgers ran around and threw the deep ball twice and got them into position to kick the field goal, if we had this guy, that doesn't happen. Guaranteed, uh, he doesn't give up a wild play. Aaron Rodgers running around and 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 killing us on a play that that should have never even happened. Uh, here's another one. This guy hawks down, comes across. He weaves through the defense uh, like no one is, is even there. He's up at the top. He's, this, is, this is him here. Watch him come across the play. I'm going to pause it on the second one. Watch him come through there and, again, just hawks through the defense and slices the player in half. I mean, uh, here we go. We're gonna, I'm going to pause it on the – I'm going to pause this on after the snap. Here we go. And boom. This is what you want to see, guys. As you see, this is like a read option. Quarterback is reading the linebacker. The linebacker does his job, holds his position. Second, second position he's looking at is, is a safety in the back, which is Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas holds his position. He holds his position a little longer even, and he has to because watch the really good fake that's made here to, to, to hold him off. If, if, you got, if you watch the quarterback, you'll see – and I'll back it up and show you what Earl Thomas does after he watches the quarterback. Watch how good the fake is. He, he's, he's just turning his body to show that, that he doesn't have the ball. Earl Thomas is a good, he's a good 15, he's a good 12 yards behind the play as well as a good 12 yards deep. The linebacker gets caught up in this traffic here and can't make the play. Earl Thomas... Earl Thomas rockets through the middle of that and, and knocks a player out of bounds. So here we go, guys. I'm going to move it forward. Boom. He, he thought he had a damn touchdown. He, if you look at that play, he's looking at nothing but the end zone, and Earl Thomas comes from this position across the field and, and, and completely stops the play dead in his tracks. He's coming through an alley there. I think it's Todd Gurley. Yeah, the, no, though it's Philadelphia. I apologize. Uh, he, he's, I thought it was the Rams. I can't see the helmets well. He's looking at an alley there. He, see, he sees nothing, and he thinks he's got a touchdown. Uh, so th these are the kind of plays that, that we'll get from Earl Thomas if we get him. And there, there's, it's just, uh, 
here we go. One more, guys. Uh, and this is probably my favorite one here. Yeah, here we go. Um, let me slide this down just a little bit. Here we go, guys. Watch him come across, same thing. Bang. He covers so much ground. Uh, sorry, guys. He covers so much ground uh, in so little time that, that it's, it's like, amazing. You can see how far back he is. Uh, this is the Rams. Uh, this is a video I thought it was earlier. Um, the receiver catches the ball here in the flats. He has, he has a, a good block upset by a pulling. Uh, um, it's a tight end or, or the uh, tackle on this side. I'll move it forward. Still, you can see, look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 players here on the field. He's got the guard. It is the guard. The guard, or excuse me, the tackle coming out to make that block for him. If, if you, as I move this forward, you're going to see the receiver step inside to take the inside move. And he sees Earl Thomas from here to that corner. As you can see, Earl Thomas coming uh, there. That's him at the top of the screen. He sees Earl Thomas and decides to cut back out. It's too late. You, there's nothing you can do. And, and at this point, he's, again, 12 yards off the play deep. And he's probably, that's, that's probably close to 20 yards, guys, uh, from the play. So watch, watch the angle he takes. And this is what we talk about angles, angles, angles. In every one of the plays I just showed you, Earl Thomas takes the perfect angle. He gets through the defense and he does it so quick they don't even they don't even have the time to pick up a block on it. Right there. He sees Earl Thomas coming. The the guard is trying to get up there and make the block on the safety. Also, uh, this is the I believe that that's the center, excuse me, or this is the center, but the 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 center and the guard are both trying to get around to make the block, and neither one of them have the speed to do it, of course. Bang. That's what we need, guys. And 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 tell me this. Last year, you know, we, we lost that game in the playoffs to the Packers um, when Dez, you know, the catch. Uh, we lost the, the our next uh, playoff game to the Packers again as well uh, for the, from that uh, – and these close games, we, we've got to have someone that can make a difference in these close games. When it, when it comes to the playoffs, you've ha got to have a good kicker. You've got to have guys that can close plays out. You, you, you can't have situations where you give up big plays in big games because it only takes one game, excuse me, it only takes one play to lose a game. When, when you're playing the Packers in the playoffs, you know it's going to be close. You know it's going to come down to the last minute. What it comes down to is who has that special player that's going to make the play. Who has that special defender that's going to do something and stop the offense? Or who has that special offense that's going to get the ball last and score? And I, I think our offense is set. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do about our offense at this point. Um, I, I think we're good. Uh, we we got to find out who our tight end is going to be, and uh, we got to put our receivers, you know, kind of in a, in an order. We got. I'm sure we're going to keep four tight ends, uh, and we just got to see how this plays out. Um, I'm really hoping Seattle plays horrible in the preseason, um, and I hope it's due to their quarterback play. They don't have a backup quarterback, as I've mentioned before, and we've got three quarterbacks. We haven't carried three before, and I hope our our Cooper Rush, to me, I'm, I'm ready to see Cooper Rush, and I'm ready to see Mike White, and I hope they both, I hope they play so well that teams around the